Hey guys, today I have a cool little video for you guys. It is a jewelry dish. As you can see, you could put uh, rings, earrings, necklaces, whatever fits. You could choose to do exactly how I did it or make your own. Just stand by if you'd like to make it. The materials are going to be a small plate. I believe this is the brand Corelli, or I'm not sure how to pronounce it. A 32 ounce yogurt lid, opal clay, green, your color of your choice, scrap clay, bacon bond, glaze, I'm using Fimo, paintbrush for the glaze, wire and some pliers, some cutting tools, this one is to pick up the clay, some blending tools, a rolling pin, a gold leafing pen, marker, whatever, and this is optional but I have some mica powders with a paintbrush and a stencil. So let's get started. First you want to get your entire package of opal and use three little lines out of the four. You want to condition them and roll them until you have a similar ball to this one. Then you want to take the rolling pin and flatten out your clay till it's not on top and go ahead and cut it out. So you have this. Then from there, this is the optional part, you could take your stencil and any mica powders and go ahead and put it all around like so. I personally think it looks really cool so if you have some powders you should definitely try something like this. So this is how it ends up. So then you want to take the cutting tool and make any pattern you want of the plate. I want it like a flower pattern so that's what I did. You could just leave it circular if you'd like but I like this because I'm going for like a nature for the nature side of it then you want to just peel it off and bring your plate over and making sure your design is right in the middle you place it like so and you try to take uh, you start patting it into the plate making sure all the air comes out that it's not too bulky towards the end so you want to taper it a little like so and then if you get some air you could just lift up one of the petals and just take it out through there like so and then here it is and it's ready to bake while it's baking you want to take the wire and some pliers cut a piece and then bend that in half and then cut it again. That gives you two equal pieces. But then they're too big, so you just want to measure out the size of the size that you want for the horns. So what I'm doing is taking the scrap clay and making like a little hill. And then you want to measure and see the size you want and cut it to whatever you want. Then you want to take your green, roll it all out, pretty thin, this one has to be thin. Then you just place it right on top of the little hill you made. Cut, uh, you cut off the excess. Then you cut off all the excess. And now you take your wire just to measure how deep you want it in and you grab some more of the scrap clay and start rolling a log with a tapered edge so it could be like the horn obviously you can see then you want to take the wire and push it in as deep as you can and then you want to start shaping the horn 
So once you have that over the main horn, you could just add as many little horns as you want using the same technique. Then you just blend it and you want to add a little extra like so, so it could be a much smoother blend. You just continue adding as much as you want. I'm adding three, but you could do more. And to duplicate it, I just took another scrap clay and pretty much went along on top of it and following along. And you pretty much get two exact ones like that. Then you go ahead and put them in your little hill and you take your pointy tool and start poking at the green to make it look like fuzzy moss or grass. Then you want to take the pointy tool again and give the horn some kind of texture. Now, this is how they look. They're ready to bake along with the plate. So once they baked and cooled off for a while, you want to take them off the plate. Then you want to take off the horns off the hill. And you want to take your gold marker and paint your horns. I did two layers in total, so you might need to do the same. So here I already attached it to the hill. I ended up using a little bit of uh, crazy glue, so you might need to do that too. Then for the flowers, you could take the color of your choice and start rolling it into a ball and then peeling it off. And that's going to be the center petal and then you do that same thing exact same thing but don't roll it as much and you just put them on the flower like so it kind of guides you by itself you put it in the gaps and you just make them as big or as small as you want once you're done you cut off the point to it grab some bacon bond put a little dollop in it and then you take the pointy tool and it helps to stick it in the middle petal and then put it on it then you do the same thing with your other color and you could do whatever pattern or color combination you want I'm just doing it like this So I did the last flower off camera and you can see it comes out much better. It's harder with a camera in front of you but yeah. I just did three in the front like so. And I decided to do some little ones so for the little ones you do the exact same thing but with a smaller ball you flatten it and then you do the same thing just with smaller petals. Like before, I touch it with some bacon bond. And now for the leaves, you just roll it into a little teardrop and then make some leaf patterns like so. And some bacon bond again, and then you just place it wherever you'd like. Make as many as you want. Then I also took tiny logs and made one in pointy to make little grass blades sticking out from random places. Then it's time to bake. Then you also want to take the plate and also do the border with the leaf leafing pen. Let that dry and that's how it looks. Then you take your horns, put some bacon bond and put it right in the middle. And once again you bake that. And now that it's baked you just take your glaze and put it all over. Now it's all dry. Yeah, you just you could put any ring, anything you'd like, like I said, and it looks pretty cool. I'm really happy with the result. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.
Peace.